When you're getting into riding, there are so many things that seem impossible or hard. And unless you have someone there to show you, you have to learn most of that stuff the hard way. Have you ridden like in a group before? Just a little bit. It's supposed to be an open space that's supportive, <laughs> where you can show up and be yourself. Playing Fargo tonight, guys. And that's what the latest is all about. I came up with the idea for the Litas. I guess it was something that kind of built over time. I had seen some women's motorcycle groups on Instagram. I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. Why don't I know any other women who ride? The Litas just started in Salt Lake City. I really had no intentions of growing it beyond that. And now we're in 30 countries, 290 cities with over 20,000 riders. Hey guys, welcome to the Lita's HQ. We have this giveaway bike from Grand Teton Harley Davidson and a trip planned down to Las Vegas. We're gonna meet up with the Las Vegas Lita's and we have a couple gals coming from Idaho Falls. Should be a good time. Well, we got up on like Mesquite Boulevard and like took the back way. Maps like took us that way. Did you made it? <laughs> yeah, We're like, are they ever gonna get here? <laughs> We had Megan on the ride. She's a newer rider, but it sounds like her first time on the freeway was just the day before we got here. Is there anything you're particularly nervous about or thinking about? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> so this being my first long ride, it was super nice to have a bunch of experienced riders out there. Nikki especially. She just watched out for me the whole time and like reassured me that I was doing good. You know, it was it was a really good experience. I was so proud of her and I couldn't help but tell her every time we stopped, oh my God, you're doing so great. One of the really cool things about the Lita's is like, you know, it's not something where it's intimidating and you can't come join us. It's like, no, everyone can join us. Like, you just got a bike, you absolutely need to come. This is how you're going to find other women to just go and get some experience with and learn from and ask questions. And like, this is a community with a wealth of knowledge that you have access to. The Lita is, I feel like for women, obviously in the motorcycle world, you don't meet a lot of girls just out riding. I'm a Lita because I feel like my soul craves that feminine energy. I mean, I've always been the bro girl my whole life. And so when I graduated, I was like just always hanging out with the boys and I met the Litas and it was the first time in my life that I like had a f***ing, excuse me, sorry, you gotta beep that out, had a riot with just all women. And it was something that I didn't even notice that I needed to just like have women friends and like that type of energy. So I'm a Lita because I need women in my life. <laughs> Meeting Lisa, I freaking love her. My name is Lisa and I've been riding about 15 years on a Harley. I am a Lita because the group came along in the time of my life where I needed that. I spent many years married to someone and we rode together. When we separated, I, I came across the Litas, women that were experiencing the same things that I was going through. And in so many ways, being part of the group has just strengthened me, given me encouragement, and I love the hell out of it. Nice to meet you, Lindsay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Finally, in person. I'm Hi. We met up with the Vegas Litas last night. I thought it was really cool to meet a gal from the Vegas Litas. Turns out she's one of the founders from Germany. My name is Jolene. When I was traveling to US in 2019, I just wrote the leaders on Instagram, like in San Diego, in Temecula, in Vegas, and yeah, and then I celebrated the 4th of July with the leaders in Temecula and met the leaders in San Diego. This was awesome. We just founded the leaders Cologne, and then another friend founded the leader Hamburg, and now just the leaders Berlin. I'm a leader because it's a worldwide collective, and I'm I love cultures. I love different countries and I love to meet all of them. It was kind of mind-blowing to get to meet her and see photos and talk to her about what that was like and it's just, you know, on the other side of the world. I think that's really the power of the Litas is you can go anywhere around the globe and you have family there. 
This trip has been so awesome. I definitely needed to get back on the road. I'm gonna be going home with all of these new friendships and memories. You know, we filled our cup like a little bit. We'd still need to like fill the rest of it to just get through the end of winter, but I'm sure we'll be making plans for that. One of the really cool things about the Lita's is like having that safe space. You know, it makes it where it's it's normal to show up and ask, you know, a question that like, yeah, most people who ride know the answer to. So it might seem stupid, but we've all been there and like nobody's judging you. And it's something different where you show up and you're not worried about any of that. You know, there's so many barriers of entry for women to riding motorcycles. There's just a lot of things that can make it really uncomfortable and also really intimidating. If you're watching this, like come and join us, come ride with us. We will welcome you with open arms and I promise you will have a great time. I'm Alita because I think it's so important to have community in your life. I feel like I can show up and be 100% myself and just have the best time. Like, you know, no judgment, no drama, none of that. You're just with a bunch of people who you feel like you have something in common with and I think everybody needs something like that.